shall unite Rachel and Daniel in marriage. Today you stand here before your loved ones to make promises to each other. You're going to promise to take care of each other, support each other, and find happiness in the other. There's a simple premise to each of these promises. You're vowing to be there and love one another, faults and all. You're uniting and proclaiming that every experience in life that I will have, I want you to be by my side. Rachel and Daniel, are you ready to enter into this marriage believing the love you share and your faith in each other will endure all things? We are. Right. I will now recite the poem, The Bridge Across Forever. A soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys to fit our locks. When we feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest selves step out and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not for who we are pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person, we are safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. Do you, Rachel, promise to be Daniel's best friend, to comfort him and to listen to him, to celebrate his successes and support his struggles, to love him, respect him, and tenderly care for him through all the days of your life? I do. Do you, Daniel, promise to be Rachel's best friend, to comfort her and to listen to her, to celebrate her successes and to support her struggles, to love her, respect her, and tenderly care for her through all the days of your life? I do. Right. I will now ask you both to read your promises to each other. I can't help but think about high school and how a cute goof while was flirting with me and making me laugh. However, it did confuse me a little bit when he took me to a Yu-Gi-Oh card tournament on his, as a way to hang out with each other, and it was a way to impress a girl that he liked. Yeah. After today, <laughs> after today, I will finally be able to call that goofball my husband. All jokes aside, I fell in love with you because you always made me laugh, feel cared for, and supported me as we grew together. Our love is unique as we have been together through most of our teens and all of our adult life. Growing up together, we learned to support each other as we grew as a couple and grew as individuals. We have been through many life milestones together, and although they haven't always been easy, we have always had a common goal, and that was to always choose each other. And although there is still so much for us to learn, I know we will always be there for each other as we enter each new chapter of our lives. I love you because you are always the first to comfort me with comic relief or silly serenades when I'm stressed or upset. I love you because you have always encouraged me to stay true to myself and speak my mind. I love you for all the everyday things that you show me that you care for me, like putting your dirty underwear beside a clean hamper. <laughs> There's not a lot that I can promise to start doing as we've been together for so long, but I promise to continue to never go to bed angry and to always finish the day with a kiss. I promise to have the pantry stocked with Doritos for when you get the munchies. I promise to always be your number one supporter and comfort you in your moments of need. And finally, I promise to be a loving life partner and, always, and an amazing mother to our future children and your best friend. I've loved you since we were 15. I love you today, and I promise to love you for all of our tomorrows. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Daniel? Please read your vows to Rachel. The numbers be loud. To imagine we have been together for 12 years, it's nothing short of a miracle. And yes, it's about time this day has finally come. <laughs> we have watched each other grow into the people we are today. Through the years, we have faced obstacles, some harder than others, that have helped us build the strong foundation of our relationship. It has shown me your unwavering love, constant support, and silent strength. Thank you for loving me. My, thank you for loving my fun, crazy, loud Italian family as much as I do. I promise to encourage you to follow your dreams 
I promise to continue to challenge you to be the best version of yourself. I promise to make you laugh when you're taking life too seriously. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to put you first and never lose our spark. I promise to never stop singing my own made up songs, although I know you wish I would. <laughs> our journey as a family has only just begun and I can't wait to see what our future holds. Rachel, you are the person I choose to spend my forever with. As my true soulmate, I choose you. I chose you in 2010 and I chose you today and I will keep choosing you forever. I love you. Aww, that was beautiful. <laughs> Now, as a reminder of these promises, you've both chosen to wear rings. May we please have the rings? Okay, Daniel, you're going to go first and put the ring on Rachel's finger. Okay. Daniel, place the ring on Rachel's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as my gift to you. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me and know that I love you. Rachel, please place the ring on Daniel's finger. I give you this ring as my gift to you. Wear it and think of me. Wear it and think of me. And know that I love you. And know that I love you. I'd like to invite the bride, groom, and the witnesses to sign the license. It's back here, come on back. And I, I know I will now proceed with a blessing for the happy couple. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should bring. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you look for things to praise and often say, I love you, and take no notice of small faults. By the authority given to me by the province of Ontario, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs>